Many uh, homeowners have heard about solar energy and are interested in solar energy. And this is a, what's called a photovoltaic system. Photovoltaic indicating that the sunlight is converted directly to electricity through these what's called PV photovoltaic panels. And this is a demonstration system that would in effect showcase all the different parts associated with a system that a homeowner might want to investigate for his home. What we'd like to start with is solar panels, photovoltaic panels, which we have here. And these are oriented towards the sun to capture the sun's energy. That energy is created by the sun and is transferred through the panels into electrical energy. So we have an energy transformation going on there. That energy comes down through some wires and we have some various parts here, including disconnects, fuses, circuit breaker boxes that are important because we always want to be within codes and standards, National Electrical Code being an important consideration. We always want to do things safe by codes and standards. Here we have what's called a charge controller, which is a, a device that is common is if you're using batteries. If you're having batteries as battery backup, we want a charge controller so that we can control the level of charge in the battery and also the level of discharge. Through that we go to a disconnect a switch and then we have in here we have our batteries. These are what's called deep cycle batteries which are special batteries for deep charging and discharging regular old car batteries are not going to work for us. So these are important concept if we're using batteries in our system. From there we go to what's called a inverter and an inverter takes the DC, what's called direct current, which is supplied from the batteries, from the panels, so it's DC form of energy, and it converts it to AC, alternating currents, which is in the form that most homes appliances use. They use AC electricity. We go through a typical disconnect, which is generally fused. It's an on-off switch, okay? From there, we go to a distribution center, your fuse box. You'll, most houses will have one of these that have your breaker boxes in it. So here I have two breakers that distribute the power to various parts of my simulated home. One is this light here, which is just a very simple 60 watt light bulb, and the other is distributed to this AC outlet. So I can take any typical home appliance, a hair dryer, a phone charger, a computer, plug it in, and it would work just the same as if you plugged it into your house, okay? If I want, I can also use the energy direct from the DC direct from the panels or directly from the batteries to power what's called DC devices. For example, this light is a 12 volt DC light and it runs off of the batteries direct without being converted into your typical home AC power. So most of the components here you would find in your home if you decided to go with photovoltaic system. And this demonstrates on a small scale the basic components and the basic techniques, including metering, so we get information, okay? We know how much energy we're getting, the currents, the voltages, how much energy we're using, and we can use that to determine charges in the battery and lifetimes and things like that. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.